everyone. Today I want to talk about something a little icky. I want to talk about how to deal with diarrhea in orphan kittens. Earlier this week I started fostering some kittens who all have diarrhea. So I wanted to share with you guys some tips for how to deal with it. So these little guys are going to be our helpers today. Udon, Soba, Haru, and Shira. If you know me, you know that I'm a little bit obsessed with kitten poop, and that might sound really gross, but if you care about saving kittens' lives, you have to care about what their poop looks like. The reason poop is so important is because it's one of the best diagnostic tools that rescuers have to understand what's going on with the kitten. Think of it as a smelly progress report coming straight out of the kitten telling you what's going on with them. A kitten's poop will indicate whether they're in good health or whether they're in trouble. So please take it seriously if you see something that doesn't look normal. For reference, I'll start by showing you what a normal kitten poop looks like. This is Texas Pete. You can see that he's proudly showing off his perfect little bottle baby poop. When a kitten is eating formula from a bottle, it's normal for their poop to be mustard yellow and well formed, like a gross little churro. What you don't want to see is diarrhea, with their stool coming out more wet and not as formed. If you're caring for a kitten with diarrhea, take it seriously. It can quickly become very complicated and even fatal for a neonatal kitten. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can start to treat some of the symptoms and the causes of diarrhea. So before we can talk about treating it, let's talk a little bit about how to monitor kittens that have diarrhea. Because it can cause such a rapid decline in their health, it's critically important that you're weighing your kittens frequently during this time. I suggest getting a little food scale like this, something that's digital and that can weigh in grams so that you can measure the kittens in a very small unit. Place a bowl on the scale, tear the scale so that it says zero, and then place your kitten in the bowl. You want to do this at least once a day at a bare minimum, but ideally more like three times a day. If the kitten is not gaining weight or if they're losing weight, that's going to be a sign that something is seriously wrong and you're going to want to address it immediately. One of the really nice things about weighing kittens is that as they start to feel better, you can see their body retaining that fat content and retaining those nutrients and actually turning it into new body mass. So you can see as they start to recover from diarrhea that their weight begins to grow exponentially. So please take this step seriously. Get a digital scale, write down their weight at least once a day, and monitor their progress. Okay, so now let's talk about treatment. You want to be treating both the cause and the symptoms. So first up, what's the cause? Well, diarrhea is complicated. It can have many causes. Everything from stress to change in diet, viruses, bacterial infections, and of course, parasites. The first thing you want to do is rule out potential causes. Here's the three main things that I consider. One. Food issues. Could it be something about what you're feeding them? Kittens cannot digest dairy products or home remedies, and they need a special kitten formula that meets their unique needs. You can find links to some of the formulas that I recommend at kittenlady.org supplies. So if you're feeding the kitten something other than kitten formula, please immediately stop and get them on a kitten formula. If they are on a kitten formula, check to make sure that the formula is fresh. Is it expired? Are you storing it properly in the refrigerator? Kittens' bodies are so sensitive, so you want to make sure that what's going into them is fresh and clean. Another food-related issue that could cause diarrhea is premature weaning. If you've recently introduced solid foods to the kitten and their health has started to decline, consider stepping it back a notch and putting them back on the formula. Remember not to rush weaning in kittens because it can cause GI upset. If you think this might be the cause, step it back and put them on the formula for a few days, and then once they're a bit better, you can start slowly introducing that wet food through slurry. Okay, the second thing I would be thinking about is parasites. If the kitten's two weeks or older, you should already have her on a dewormer, so make sure that you do. But some parasites are not going to be covered by your standard dewormer. For instance, the noodle kittens have both coccidia and giardia which are both protozoan parasites that require special drugs. So they are on Panicure and Panazeril, which will help kill the parasites that they have. If you suspect that your kitten might have a parasite, please take them to a veterinarian and get a fecal analysis. You have to know what they have so that you know how to treat it. 
Remember that parasites don't go away on their own, so you do need to get them in and get them medicated. The third thing you want to consider is viruses. If your kitten is seriously ill with diarrhea, it might be a good idea to get them a panleukopenia test. Panleukopenia is a very contagious virus that can lead to fatality in kittens, so it's important to know if that's what's going on. A positive result doesn't have to mean a death sentence. It just means that you have to take extra precautions around sanitizing and quarantine, and that you'll need to really ramp up your supportive care. The important thing about finding the cause of the diarrhea is that you have to know the cause in order to be able to treat it. So if you're not sure what's going on, please do get the kitten into a vet. So next, let's talk about the symptoms of diarrhea and some of the supportive care that you can do at home or with a veterinarian. The most serious symptom of diarrhea is dehydration. Kittens need to be hydrated in order for their muscles and their organs to function properly. So when they have very liquidy stool, their body is purging a lot of that moisture content and a lot of the nutrients that they need to keep them healthy. One quick and easy way that you can boost the kitten's hydration and help them feel a little bit better is to replace the water in your formula with Pedialyte. Be sure that you're picking up unflavored Pedialyte. Pedialyte contains electrolytes, which help the body replace the vital minerals and nutrients that are lost when the kitten has diarrhea. You can mix it with your powdered formula in place of water, just to make sure that you're keeping it refrigerated after opening it, and then warm it gently before feeding with the formula. When I have kittens that have diarrhea, I immediately stop with water and start with Pedialyte instead. In some cases, you may need to provide additional hydration in the form of subcutaneous fluids. Subcutaneous fluids are special fluids you can get from a veterinarian that are administered under the skin. If you're a kitten rescuer, this is going to be a really good skill and resource for you to have. It can be a major lifesaver for dehydrated kittens. Another tool in your supportive care kit might be probiotics. There are several different types of veterinary probiotics, such as Fortiflora and Benevac. These contain different strains of healthy bacteria that help the gut do its job. You can add these directly to the kitten's formula. Just be sure that you dose it to the weight of the kitten. You may also consider boosting the kitten's vitamins with an oral supplement or even an injectable vitamin. I like to turn to a product like Hyvite, a multivitamin which you can add to the formula in a small dose or even injectable B12, which you can get under the supervision of a vet and will help replenish some of the B12 that is being lost. There are lots of other tools that your veterinarian can give you to help fight diarrhea. So you'll want to find a good vet that's comfortable treating neonatal kittens. Additional treatments might include pancreatic support to help the kittens digest their food better, or even plasma therapy, which can help boost a kitten's healing. Talk to a vet about what options are available to you. Finally, if you've got kittens that have diarrhea, you're going to have to deal with the crappy stuff. And that means you have to do a lot of cleanup. If the kitten is having diarrhea in their bedding, be sure that you're changing out the blankets afterwards and at least once a day. If they're already using a litter box, scoop it many times a day to prevent them from walking in the diarrhea and spreading it around. Keep the kitten's butt clean by wiping them down with a baby wipe. I like to use organic, fragrance-free baby wipes and wipe down the area all around the butt and anywhere else that the diarrhea may have ended up, which might even be on their back or even their head. Who knows? Of course, make sure that you're washing your hands as well. That means having hand soap with you not just at home, but even hand sanitizer if you are going to be out and about with the kittens. In really messy situations, you're going to need something stronger than just a baby wipe. You may end up needing to bathe the kittens. If you need to give the kittens a bath, exercise caution. Use comfortably warm water and something that will quickly and safely break up the feces and wash it away. Most rescuers use either a fragrance-free baby shampoo or a dish soap like Dawn. I personally prefer to use a cruelty-free natural dish liquid to do this. Wash the kitten's body gently, avoiding the eyes, ears, and mouth. You can spot clean the head as needed, but never fully dunk a kitten or run a kitten's head under the water. Dry them off with a towel immediately and keep them warm. Remember that they can't regulate their own body temperature, so towel dry them until they're completely dry or use a hair dryer on a low setting from at least two feet away. Once they're fluffy and clean, put them back into their warm space with some kind of heat source like a snuggle safe. It's so important to keep kittens clean, not just because it's gross when they're dirty, but also because their skin is so sensitive and can become really irritated by this stuff. 
So keep the kitten clean, and if they do become irritated, you can apply an ointment to the area to help soothe them while they're recovering. Diarrhea can be so frustrating, but don't give up on your kittens. By treating the cause of the diarrhea and also addressing the very serious symptoms through supportive care, you'll have a great chance of getting them back to a good, healthy poop.